Hello, it has been four months since I last uploaded on this channel and that video covered my progression on visual effects. But in this video, I'll be covering my progression in the UI aspect of Roblox developing. I'll put a timestamp up because I'm going to cover some things before the video actually starts. So I'll put it around here. Feel free to skip if you want to. But before the video starts, I want to say that the first video I posted, not the first one, the progression video I posted, the video hit 62,000 views or somewhere around that mark. And my recent video hit around 10,000 views, which is mind blowing to me. I just want to say thank you for all the support as well. The server, my Discord server, has now hit over 600 individuals, which is crazy to me. But yeah, it's mind blowing. I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support. And people seem to like this spec a lot. So I'll keep it on in my future videos well until I start making new ones. But yeah. Anyway, that's it. All I want to say was thank you. And I will now move on to the core aspects of the inventory. So before we take a look at the inventory UI, I must first mention the menu UI as a whole. So since the four months I was off YouTube working on Roblox Studio, I revamped the UI of my game entirely. So now there is a menu. Right now I'm on picture mode, nothing is up on the screen. There is no UI interface, but if I press M, then I can enter my menu. Here we have the actual settings, the inventory, and the dev commands that I'm gonna script later on but it's not scripted now. This will be stats for when I start doing combat, but don't worry about this for now. The settings have only two buttons. They only have two buttons, sorry. Or one, two, three, four, technically speaking. You can mute the OST in the background. Right now it's muted. That's playing now. We can turn up the volume. We can turn it down. Or we can mute it. And of course, the picture mode, which I'll turn on now. Uh, yeah, that's the menu. Now to get to the actual inventory. The inventory works as per any other average game. If you press the accent key, that is the key next to your one to the left, it will toggle the backpack. This is where you have all of the items. You may wonder why there are slots for armors, or what you may think to be armors and these two buttons. And that is because I was thinking of making my beginning, this game right now, I was thinking of making it into a mini game because as I'm progressing towards becoming a better developer, I thought that I might as well make this into a mini game where I just put stuff in it and just for the sake of having fun. But yeah, this will turn into a mini game and I might release it to the public, who knows. The only people that have access to this game are my testers, obviously. You could be a tester by joining my Discord and just being active, but that's besides the point. The backpack works per normal. If you click on an item, it will show you the description of your items to the right-hand side. I will go through each of these items right now. You can pause to read the description if you want to. <laughs> this is banana. That's a person in my Discord server. But anyways, each item has their own name, their item type, description, stats. They may have a function, they may have stats, and they may have a requirement. But every item has a rarity, with the rarest item being the blessed items. The order of the backpack right now is with the items. So the top of the backpack will always be your items, your skills, sorry. The next one would be your weapons. The next would be your primary weapons, I mean secondary weapons. The next would be your armors, and then it would be consumables and then it will be just normal items. There are more item types, but there isn't a need for me to put them in right now since I have most of the item types here. Anyways, the only item that is currently working in the backpack is the Blast Rubber the Luminera. It has its own model. It's not my model. It's a model I borrowed off of Cine, a very talented modeler on my server. You should check him out if he's there. I'm not too sure if he's doing commissions right now, but you can ask him or look at his, or look at his bio. But yeah, this is the Blast Rubber of the Luminera is a spec item that a tester has in my sub and it is droppable, you can pick it up and everything works smoothly. Which I couldn't jumbo do it back then because the previous inventory I had was terrible. But yeah, everything in the backpack is only accessible if you're in the backpack. So if you try to hold out an item, 
and press the back button again to turn off the backpack, it will unequip. This is to stop people from doing very funny things that they were doing when it was like that. This also applies to you if you're opening your menu and stuff like that. Is that everything? I think that covers everything. I also made these little uh, icons for the proximity prompts, but yeah, that's it for the backpack. The inventory is accessed via this button right here or manually going into your inventory and pressing this button here, which toggles the background and all of your main, uh, oops, all of your main things is here in this frame. You can filter through your item types to better find your item and you can also search for it here as well. You don't need to type up the names word for word, you can just ty type up like drip for example and it will show heaven's drip. But yeah, the search bar is min-maxed, that's a term for gaming, but it's fully optimized and working perfectly, I think. I pray my testers don't find a bug with it again. But anyways, you can equip items to your active frame, which is where your your helmet, chest plate, or body armor, your boots, earrings, necklace, back, and waist accessories will be as shown here. Oh, and also the primary weapon, your secondary weapon, and your thing, <laughs> your two quick use slots. But anyways, if you press equip, you have two options. Well, two depending on what item you pick. This is a primary weapon, so you only have the option to put it to your primary weapon and it will put it there. You can also swap it as well, it won't bug out. And yeah, that's pretty much it to be honest with this. It's just basic equipment and unequipment as well. If you click it from here and if you unequip it, it will indeed unequip. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for the inventory system. It's quite simple, well, <laughs> it's not simple, but it fits the theme of the game that I want to make, or well, the mini game that I'm going to make within my beginnings. That's really it for the inventory. Yeah. Oh yeah, and there is the vanity slots. Let me not forget that. So, in the game, I know I'm going to make, like, drip a very important thing in my game, because me personally, I like making very cool outfits. I like when items are just made really well. And I'm going to use a lot of smart bones as well, so I'd like the player to have a variety of choices of items to choose from when making a character's customization. So if you press this button right here, which is indicated by the little cowboy hat, uh, vanity equipment page comes up, and here you can just equip your items to your vanity page, which, be, which will be indicated by this little ring icon here. And it's different to the active equipment. So yeah, for the sake of looking at the background, I guess you can turn off the visibility of the active frame. I don't know why, it's just there for uh, purposes. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, that's it for the inventory system. It took me three months and a little bit to completely script this and I took a little bit of, I took a little bit more longer to take a break because of college and stuff like that. But yeah. That is the inventory UI. Okay, time to go into the health bar and the other stuff. Before I got to working on the inventory UI and the backpack UI, I had work on the health bar. It actually works. If you press the L button on your keyboard, it damages you for a little bit. And the HP and the percentage is showing and it actually works. On the left hand side you can see the percentage HP and on the right hand side you can see your exact HP. I'm eventually going to increase the the max HP of the player as you progress through the game but yeah it works that's what I want to show and of course if you reset it kills you. Uh, yeah that's about it. Nothing else works besides the posture bar as well that also works. But I'm only able to do this because of text and publishers. You can't actually do this in the actual game if you were to use it in practical use. So it's like, <laughs> you can go like behind it. But yeah, that covers 
everything that covers all of the UI that I have worked on in the past four months and I think the next step now is combat but with combat comes a whole bunch of other things that I'm going to explain in the next part of, the, of this video so the video pretty much ends here if you have the patience I would appreciate it if you watch it the end because I'm going to also say some extra stuff as well about the plan to the next videos and what I'm going to do and stuff like that so let me get to the next part of this video and the final part of the video As stated in my previous clip, the next goals for me now is combat. And with combat comes animation and modeling. So in the next time period of my developing journey, I'll be spending a lot of time modeling and animating just to get good at them and then eventually scripting combat and how a combat system will work. I'll probably start by make, making the basic five click combo and then gradually build up from there but I already have the blueprints ready for the weapons and that was just a matter of time and actually modeling the things the solar energy it's so beautiful but <laughs> yeah that's it for this video if you liked the video I'd appreciate it if you subscribed to the channel and I'd appreciate it more if you joined my discord server I'm always available and I'm always there if you need help or if you want to just talk to me. I talk to everyone on a daily basis. Also, the two soundtracks that I've been playing in the background of this video were The Crystal's Peak and Our Weeping King. That is the one that's currently playing right now. Those are the two OSTs that I've made during the past four months as well, so I haven't only been doing UI. Those are my two favorite OSTs that I've ever made and I hope that you enjoy them and take a listen to them in your own time if you have time to do so they are on my second channel i will link it link it in the description of my of this video and i hope you just enjoy it and listen to it a lot because yeah the second channel needs some love as well but that's it for this video for all this stuff if you enjoyed it subscribe like join the discord server and i'll see you in my next video until then <laughs>